pandemic, fewer people are choosing to fly this year. Instead, they're hitting the road for vacation. But the Missouri Department of Conservation wants you to share the road. Turtles are in peak breeding season, and they're on the road too. We have Dan Zarlinga from the Missouri Department of Conservation. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Kim. Thanks for having me. Well, first, um, I understand that turtles are breeding and that they're looking for mates. What are some of the other reasons turtles are on the road? Well, that's one of the big reasons that you just hit on, because uh, during the spring and early summer, that's the uh, turtles' mating season. And you mentioned uh, this is the peak of their breeding season, and actually June. So they're much more on the move. To The males are out there looking for females to mate with, and the females are out there uh, looking for nesting sites. So they're a lot more active. And uh, also, they also like the, um, the warmth of the pavement, too, because that kind of helps them keep warm. So there's a lot of reasons they're out and about right now. And being that they're on the move more, they're going to encounter more roads and you're going to see them on the roads more. So what can drivers do, especially if they are on those two lane roads where the speeds are still fairly high? What can drivers do? Well, the first thing, as with any driving, it's uh, avoid distractions. You know, that's a key uh, factor for any safe driving. So don't distract yourself uh, by your, your cell phone or texting or anything like that. So you have you can pay more attention to the road and more likely to see a turtle in the first place. Um, secondly, just be aware that you might be seeing them, and especially in the roads like you mentioned where there might be more rural areas or where there might be fields or woods nearby where turtles might be living, and so they're more likely to be seen on places like that. Um, if you do see a turtle, there's several things you can do, but always, always, always make sure it's safe to do one of these things. Um, one thing you can do is you can slow down and swerve around the turtle, again, making sure there's no oncoming traffic or anything like that. Um, one of the best things you can do, though, is actually center the turtle between your wheels and ride over it. So uh, avoiding hitting it with your wheels, but usually uh, most vehicles have enough ground clearance where they'll glide right over the turtle without harming it. So that's probably the, the safest thing to do. Now, if you're in a situation where you can do this safely, you can pull over and go ahead and help the turtle across the road and get it off the roadway. But the key important thing there is you want to make sure you put the turtle in the same direction it was already moving, the oh, same side of the road it was okay. headed toward. Yes, because Otherwise, it would be completely useless to put it in the opposite direction and it, it's just another driver's problem, right? <laughs> right, then it'll just turn around and go back the direction it was originally going. So definitely you want to get it off the road toward the direction it was already heading. And this is really important because turtles are a very long-lived species, and they don't reproduce, you know, in great numbers. So they can live 50 to 80 years, depending on the species. So, you know, when they get hit on the roads like this, uh, it really does negatively impact their populations. Plus, they're being hit at a time when they're trying to reproduce. So that's impacting their ability to reproduce as well. So it's kind of a double way. I mean, it does really make it take a toll on their population. So if we can just spend a little extra attention and make sure we avoid those kinds of accidents, uh, I think everyone will be happier. So what uh, species of turtles are we looking at right now that are normally trying to cross the roads, reproduce at this time, or is it all of them, basically? Well, there's a lot of turtles that will be doing this, but the common ones we might see in the St. Louis area are the three-toed box turtles. And they're uh, primarily a woodland species, so they're the ones we're going to see on the roads a lot uh, at this time of the year. But depending on where you travel, you might also see ornate box turtles, which are very similar to three-toed box turtles in terms of appearance and size. They tend to live in areas where there's more grasslands and prairies and, and open space. But uh, in some places, you might even find a, a snapping turtle crossing the road. Oh, which wow. Is, they're, quite, they're quite a bit bigger. <laughs> well, be you careful know. with that one when you pick it up. We will have a link to the Missouri Department of Conservation. Just head to fox2now.com. Dan Zerlinga, thank you so much for joining us.